rain kind of building right on top of us. It's just sprinkling. There's nothing really going on on the radar. <clears throat> I got minnows. I got the Garmin. I got bass stuff. I got crappie stuff. Mainly, I'm just trying to use up my minnows and go after a big bass. This is this is the kind of morning for that. This stuff right here, great stuff. This Garmin is kind of useful for this kind of fishing, but in these farm ponds, there's so many weeds and these fish are in the weeds. Like I could scan this whole basin and maybe see six fish. But I cast along a weed line with this thing again. And I, I was watching this on the Garmin. And out of nowhere, this dude comes in and smokes it. Absolutely smoked it. I did not see him until like the last minute. He was flying. Oh, oh my God. My drag slipping. Oh, this is gonna be a good fish. Yeah. Maybe my drag was too loose. Let's see. I threw it over there, and he just hammered it. Ah, he's not giant. He's still a good fish. Sounds like a pretty good thunderstorm over there. What I love about this lure is when it lands, it does some funky stuff. I can even make this thing do a 360 circle in the water without doing too much to it. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm guessing Maybe three and a half. He's not going to make four because he's really skinny. He's long, got a big head. We'll let him go. See you later. <laughs> oh, he's staying down. You're doing a good job here, buddy. Hang on. Don't get me all wet. Come on. Let you go. Looks like the same size. Once again, that thing hits the water, you give it a twitch. It looks like the exact same fish, but it, I know it's not. But <laughs> it's the same size. Cool. Let you go, dude. This thing hits the water, give it a twitch, and it does a curl or a flip or something stupid, and they will just hammer it. Totally not ready. These bass, they like to hang around their fry. And I saw a huge school of fry right out here. And I casted beyond it, brought the frog to it and paused it right in within the fry. <laughs> and this bass came up, took a big swipe at it, had a hold of it for a split second. I was not ready for that. I should have been, I know better. <clears throat> oh, I, th I think he's wrapped around that into that tree. Or he got me hooked on the tree. <clears throat> Came out of nowhere. Or he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. It's just all weeds. Dang. <laughs> that was cool. I'm casting this thing far enough that I can't even see it, but I can see 
you know where it's coming to me because of the disturbance of there's all this duckweed on the water here that was a big boy he hit right where that bear spot is <clears throat> he made the bear spot i cast it over by that stump there you can see the trail i drug it this way and that's where he hit and he just went straight down. God, darn it. I got, get, I got like 20 pounds of weeds wrapped around this line. We'll keep going. We'll keep after it. I saw an enormous bass clear underneath that tree with his back and his tail sticking out of the water. It was a monster. And I'm hoping it didn't go far. When I first saw it, I was not sure what I was looking at. I thought it was a muskrat at first, but it wasn't. This was a big old fish. And it was not a turtle. <laughs> it was ginormous. I made so many casts today, my shoulder is killing me. Not too bad right here. I've noticed the minnows are all egged up. Go buy some more and start my own minnow farm. <laughs> Second cast. Not big enough though. Dude, that's as big as your whole mouth. See you later. I want that big one that was over under that tree. Alright, I can't escape the rain. I'm going to fish on my way out. I'm going to be soaking wet. Let's see if anything happens. Oh. And the little one, they're hungry. These big hooks make me nervous. See oh. you, dude. You guys aren't going to believe me, but this is my one of my crappie crankbaits, and I lost it on a tree way up there in the middle where I always ice fish. <laughs> and I'm clear back here, and I saw this blue in this patch of weeds, and I'm like, that's kind of the color of the blue of my crankbait that I lost. <laughs> here it is. Still got my snap on it. My line broke. I got stuck on that tree. It floated out. Cool. I might have put new hooks on it though. It's a little, <laughs> a little rusty. But yeah, I'm still got my snap back. That thing needs a good washing. It's got a lot of brown crap on it. But yeah, I'm pumped. I mean, I'm gonna call it quits. I'm frozen. Nothing but uh, small bass right now. And uh, I got stuff to do. I'm gonna head out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>